Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the eraser tool. If I had to think of like the most basic, simple tools, like the, the go-to tools, the tools that are in every model, I would go with a line and eraser. Line because the geometry is made of lines, but eraser because it just helps you clean up stuff. It helps you put extra geometry away. It helps you smooth geometry if you want smooth geometry. Very functional tool, use it a lot, and that's why it's one of the first things we're covering. Let's talk about all the ways you can use eraser right now. Okay, so like other tools, there's different ways to use it depending on the tool you're using. So we're gonna talk about using the pencil first. Uh, pencil, of course, has multiple modes. If I come up here, go into my preferences, I'm gonna start with just draw mode, or turn that on. Um, and I have eraser turned on over here in the toolbar. You can see I do have some uh, flyout menu right here with a couple icons. We'll come back to those in just a second. First, we're gonna talk about just plain old erasing. Eraser with a pencil in just draw mode, you probably already guessed this. I'm just gonna put my tip of my pencil to the screen and drag it across geometry. It's gonna highlight when I lift my pencil up, it disappears. That's all there is to it. That's erasing with just draw mode. And as a bonus, click, move, click, works pretty much the same way. If I just click and drag my pencil across the screen, those lines are going to disappear as soon as I lift the pencil up. There's really not a difference in this particular, in this one command, in a handful of commands this is true, for eraser, uh, the two modes for pencil work pretty much the same. Using touch is very similar. It's not the same because if I just click and start dragging, of course, I'm going to start orbiting. So I do have to do a hard press. I'm gonna kind of push through the screen and then start dragging. And the, the lines I drag my finger over then disappear as soon as I pick my finger up. So pretty simple. And then finally, of course, with mouse, if I come over here and I just click and drag my cursor, they'll disappear. I do have the option with any of these two of clicking just on individual geometry to make it disappear as well. Generally speaking on iPad, uh, just that dragging ends up being simpler. Even if you want to do one thing, you want to get rid of one line, drawing a little line or dragging your finger across one little line tends to be easier than trying to pick on the, the screen. But it's there. It's there if you want it. All right. So pretty simple. Erasing things, not too difficult. Pretty easy to do. Let's talk right now, though, about these menu options over here. I'm going to go back to the pencil for this. And uh, just to make sure I'm in there, I'm gonna hit just draw. It's just my preferred way of, of input. Uh, my options here, if you can see, actually see as, as, I, as I click on them, it'll pop a little, little text out there. The first one's smooth, then I have unsmooth, and then finally hide. Let's talk about what these are. So if I click on smooth, and I'm just gonna drag it across this line right here, that's what a smooth line looks like. SketchUp does its best to fit, pretend like this is just a rounded over corner and as it develops the shadows for that screen, that, that, those faces right there, you can see how it just kind of comes up with smooth geometry. The geometry hasn't changed. The angle between these two faces is exactly the same as it was before, but what it shows is smoothed out. That is different from hide. Let's click on hide real quick. I'm going to hide and click over this. See that? Hide, I get a nice hard shadow between them, even though the line's not visible. So if I look at it where the light's straight at it, I can't see the, the line necessarily. But as I go back and forth, I can actually see that hard shadow showing up. So smooth does a little extra work saying, okay, let's, you know, let's take some sandpaper and sand over the shadows. Whereas I still get that nice hard uh, thing there. If I turn on unsmooth, look what happens. All of a sudden, my smooth edges and my hidden edges show up. And it's just while I'm in this mode. If I switch out of this mode, they go away. But as long as I turn them on, I have the option to come in and just drag over or drag my eraser across those lines to bring them back to regular edges. I can also see in this case that there's a difference in the line types here. So my smooth line is a longer dash line than my hidden line, which is a dotted line. Regardless, I can just drag across them and they'll go back to being regular edges. While we're here, we did talk about erasing uh, our geometry that was just lines before. If we go back to just a regular eraser and I just erase one line, now that, that wasn't actually one line, let's do one line. If I, just, if I just come here and drag just one line, you'll notice that that edge goes away, but so do the two faces that edge creates. So, so that 
I have a hole in my shape right now because when I erase that edge, it broke that geometry. So I end up like this. That's everything I think of when it comes to eraser. Eraser, like I said, it's a great line eraser, just a fundamental drawing tools, you know, like, like a drawing tool, like a, a pencil with an eraser. Hmm, think about that. It is a great way to go in and, and just get rid of that geometry to high geometry. Uh, it's amazing using smoothing, uh, how you can take basic geometry and make it look a little more complex but by selectively smoothing lines. So it's a great fundamental tool to get there, uh, get, get your modeling prowess up there and, and become a better modeler is not using erase, not just to get rid of lines, but to smooth them over as well. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. How do you feel about eraser? It's a pretty simple one, but you know, let me know your thoughts. Let us know what you think of SketchUp for iPad as well. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.